here we are at Hippy Happy Life. I am here at Gypsy Camp, which I have taken on the road with my gypsy bus. And we are here with Pony Boy. Pony Boy, you do Scrimshaw, which happens to be a lost sacred art. This is a piece actually that Pony did many years ago. So, Pony has kind of taken it on the road. You can see him all over the place, sometimes in Sanford, sometimes at some festivals, over here at New Smyrna, you name it. And you actually, he, you might see him just about anywhere. So Pony, want to tell us about what you do here? Sure. Um, this is uh, something I picked up watching an old man, and it's a, it's a lost art. Nobody does it anymore, and I think that's what intrigued me from the beginning. That piece right there is 35 years old. That one's probably 35 minutes old. Um, it's all cut with a knife um, by hand into a blank piece of bone. I start out with a piece of bone or a rough piece and I sand it down so it looks like this or this. Bevel the edges, burn the edges, seal it, buff it out. Old piano keys from like 1835, 1850. You still they got wood on the back of them. Some of them were never pried off and dates. And I sit here and cut the pictures in with a knife. And this is one I'm working on right now. The gin here. Let's see if I can wipe this off. And this is an ink. If I cut it right, the only place the ink goes in is where, if I seal it, the only place the ink goes in is where I cut it. It's a water bird standing in the cattails. All cut with a knife. And I'm gonna try to go back here and finish this. Okay, uh, I think. First thing I need to do is add some more feathers. Give it some darkness here. Make sure I got my signature on it. Make the water look like water. And I signed it ahead of time. Sometimes I have to to save space. Okay. Sunset. A little more cut. One very important thing here. Make the cattails look like cattails. They got to have leaves peeling off. You know, all that crap. Here we go. Grass around the bottom. Plus, it helps me hide any mistakes. I'm my own worst critic. Okay, here we go. I inked this over with uh, India ink from 1976 from Germany. Not tattoo ink, not Walmart ink. Use the uh, hardener like you use in automotive paint and the ash from the end of a burnt log. Gives it a really super dark pigment. factors in this is you got to catch it before it locks up because of the hardener Get my other glasses everybody says you must have really good eyes now i got bifocal sunglasses <laughs> <See>? <laughs> whatever works man sometimes i come home with the stuff all over my face my cheeks my fingers unless it locks on it's on too it takes me about a week to get it off okay here we go completely blocked off Right here at the Gypsy Camp in Oak Hill. Imagine that. <laughs> cool. All right, yeah. here we go. That's how we do it with Hippie Happy Life. That's how we do <laughs> it, man. Build a fire and cook a fish here in a minute. Mm, that sounds All right, good. Here we go. All right, now this is the wipe off. This is how I'm cleaning, where I'm cleaning it. And if I, like I said, if it's sealed right, the only place the ink goes in is where I cut it. first way okay Beautiful. and this is a piano key the wood's still on the back probably 1835 so it's reclaimed ivory yeah. i'm giving it a second life Very beautiful. And, uh, lady restores pianos she saves everything she can do to refurbish them and uh mm -hmm. it breaks her heart to throw away the keys so yeah. we trade and she brings them to me i do art for her and it you know it's it's very rare very hard to find it's beautiful Thank you so much. Anybody that knows me knows how much I appreciate uh, reclaiming and reusing and making into beautiful art. So, thank you, Pony, for your time. I hope you're having a hippie happy life. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm a happy hippie's life. <laughs> you're a happy hippie's life? <laughs> yeah, man. Uh, you this know is it. Pony? Yep. Yeah. Oak Hill. Oak Hill, Florida. <laughs> Best fishing in the state. Come on out. It's yep. the last frontier. I got, I got He's brought He's been Jim showing to... me around. He's actually uh, been quite a blessing here. And uh, so, have 
many of his friends for that matter. Much to be thankful for. This hippie is happy. All right, have a great day. All the happy hippies, peace. All right, looks like she's caught the fever. She's getting creative here. I had Finally. To, I had to move half of my table over and open my bead boxes. Yep, gave her control and she's driving. But anyhow, look at her. This is what Jen's got on her mind and this is what she's thinking about with that piece right there. So, imagine that. Imagine that. <laughs> That's a happy hippie in life.